Hey guys, it's Sean, and today you guys are in for a big treat because I'm actually not doing a dancing video this time. I'm going to be doing a very special and different video. This is my first time, and speaking of treats, I am going to be making an eggnog ice cream for the Christmas days. And I'm having a very special guest, which is... <laughs> Treat too, but yeah. at the end of the video, you're gonna click a link to check out her sweaters and her gingerbread cookies, which are gonna be really good. So yeah. let's get started. Come on. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. First thing we're gonna do is add the eggs, and if you would mind, please put in the sugar. Yay! Now. The tiniest whisk you've ever seen. I want oh you to whisk. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. All right, I want you to whisk. Yay. And as we're whisking, we're gonna add in a small pinch of nutmeg and a small pinch of cinnamon. A teaspoon. You got my finger. That's oh, that smells so good. And then a pinch of cinnamon. It smells like Christmas. It does, it should. My favorite scent. Now she's gonna keep whisking that until it's like fluffy almost. Like until like it's all like dissolved. And you're just gonna whisk that until your arm falls off. Yeah, pretty much my arm right here. No, that's happening. We're gonna add our milk, our heavy cream, our vanilla extract into the stove and get that heated up until it's like lukewarm. And lukewarm. Now we're gonna add in the milk with the vanilla extract. Hold up, is this one? No. Okay. No, it's not. Come on, Chloe, get it right. All right. Now we're gonna put in the milk, the heavy cream, and the vanilla extract, and put it all on the stove on medium heat until it gets lukewarm. And once that happens, then you turn off the heat, and then you start mixing it in, stirring it, stirring it, stirring it, and then we go back to our eggs, and we pour it in so we can temper it. Now we're gonna add the bourbon into the milk. And be very cautious when you're at adding any alcohol, put it away on the fire. I didn't know it was in. alcohol, I thought it was apple juice. And so she did I put your finger in it. And then I licked my finger. He's like, Chloe, what are you doing? It looks like I thought it was apple juice. All right. All good? It's warm. Warm. Slap the butt or the wrist. All right, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick it up and pour it into your milk mixture. That's half good. of it. Just half of it, and you're gonna stir it as soon as possible. Now, the hard part about making ice cream is the custard. The custard is the main thing. If you don't have a good custard, you don't have a good anything. You don't have good ice cream. And so, if you don't stir it, you're gonna have scrambled eggs. You want scrambled eggs? No. One for breakfast? Definitely do not want to One for breakfast? Eggs. Okay. And you want to whisk that? Sure. Sure? Okay. Sure. I'm going to add a little pinch of salt. Just a pinch of salt. A Sean pinch. And once the ice cream is done, we're going to pour in a little bit of condensed milk. Well, actually, just the leche and salt mm -hmm. caramel. And so we're just going to swirl it around, not pour the entire thing off. We're just going to ruin the no eggnog flavor. Look at that. Look at that right there. <laughs> Grown. Okay, now we're gonna pour this back into this hot milk mixture. And you don't wanna be too hot. You wanna just pour it in and you're just gonna watch. Just gonna pour it in. Oh you don't have nutmeg. Ooh, and we're just gonna stir it. Not with the mini whisk. Now we're gonna pour this through a sieve. So that you don't see any like scrambled eggs in there. I call it Steve. I call it Steve. I call it Steve. We should have a debate. Yeah. Steve. Now we're gonna be dipping in our spoon into the custard, and this is how you know when it's ready. You pick it up, and then you put your finger right through it, and to see if it holds by itself, to see if the custard will hold by itself. That's called a liaison. If it does, it's perfect. Leave it alone and let it chill. 
Now that it's done, we're gonna put some saran wrap. And chill it for about mm, an hour to two hours. I'm gonna pour the custard into my ice cream machine while it's on, and we're gonna let it turn for about like 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 to 60 to 70. Oh my god! Actually, about like 30 minutes to 40 minutes. And we're gonna cover it so it gets thicker, and we're gonna let it harden in the freezer for about five hours. I know it's a long time, but it's definitely worth so it. So worth it. Okay. Ooh, All right, it now the ice cream is looking really, really good. I didn't even get to see. Oh yeah. my god! Thick. So I'm gonna turn it back That's on, amazing. and we're just gonna let it drip on the bottom. And we're gonna use my condensed well, dulce leche and caramel, and we're just gonna swirl it around. So ready? Check this out. So now we have our eggnog ice cream, our gingerbread cookies, our peppermint bark, and also our hot cocoa with marshmallows and a little peppermint. And I mean, should we dig in? Oh yeah. It's about time. Okay, okay. let's do this. Cheers! Oh, oh that looks wrong, but okay. <laughs> And oh, heads up by the way, guys. Oh, There's yeah. a little surprise for you Listen guys. Listen to this. I'm going to be on Chop Junior this coming January, Woo! next year, <laughs> and it's going to be really cool. I hope you guys get to watch it. Um, the commercial is going to be out soon, and I will be the last 13th episode, and it's going to be really cool. So I, I don't know about you, but I'm finished this. Same. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. Keep it up, but. Oh.